Okay, so I have the object. I, I laid out the UVs. Now I go to a polygon, UV snapshot. Um, I was using a Photoshop file and it was not working. Uh, I think it's just a bug in my Maya version, so it should work. Anything here in the drop down menu should work. So I'm going to go and use TGA. TGA is also good. And the same resolution that I used like a minute ago, 2048, 2048. I'm going to send that to my textures folder. And name it uh, Tray UV. Save, OK. And I'm going to go to Photoshop and open. Um, Go to the tray. Tray UV. So I get this. In Photoshop, I get this high res image, 2048 by 2048 pixels. And I have a background layer with it's locked. Double click on the layer to unlock it. I'm going to go to the channels. I have an alpha channel, which is the white. Um, it, it which holds the white information which is this kind of uh, grid Ho holding on the command key and clicking on the alpha channel will select all the grid and go back to the layers command C command V to paste that layer so I'm gonna get rid of the background layer and create a new one which is gonna be my new background just a color I'm going to use a light gray. So I have my grid or my layout, the UVs, maybe UV. On the top, the background is on the bottom. And then in between, I'm going to start adding my other images. So open, I'm going to select uh, the wood. Copy, paste, and I'm going to start adding these so I'm not going to be perfect here, I'm just going to go ahead and just add some uh, textures so I can have a first idea. Um, so here I'm like just copy pasting it. So I'm going to delete what I don't need. So I'm kind of making the base wood texture. And as you can see here on the grid, I can actually start adding more. Uh, so I'll start here, select all these layers, and merge these layers. I'm going to make an adjustment layer and on this layer I'm going to use the burn tool and go Actually, I cannot use it in an adjustment layer. 
So I'm going to use the burn tool to uh, just add some <coughs> shadow. And bring another image that I'm going to um, superimpose. I'm going to create a mask and use the brush tool so I'm making a, a, a layer mask and I'm using the, the brush tool to get rid of uh, information that I don't need. I'm just going to use this to blend the images together and I'm going to get the UV information out so, so I can see also I could use the mask tool for blending the other wooden images together. I don't have the time to do that right now. I'm just going to se select all this image and send it to Maya so I can look at this first um, sort of um, phase. So save as JPEG. So this is going to be the trade texture. And I'm going to name it number one dot JPEG save. and go to Photoshop to uh, Maya and bring it here so control A, I'm going to access the material let me delete the history and let me add another material because it has Lambert 1 right now so another Lambert. Actually, let's make a blend so it has a little bit of uh, reflection. So this is going to be the color information. I'm going to bring the file. And uh, yeah, and then I have my initial part here. So I have like some sort of, uh, I know where the dirt is, <coughs> what I, how I, I superimposed it on the object. And I know like right now my, this is w very well subdivided as an object, so I can actually go ahead and add more divisions if I want to. And I add like about, maybe that's a good number. So I'm going to answer that question that um, you asked earlier. Like now I can actually access, I can go back and re-texture re, uh, the object. I can go back to Photoshop and back to Maya. But at the same time in Maya, if I deform the object a little bit as, it's, as I'm texturing it, it doesn't make any much difference. It's OK. It's safe to do it. So I can go to my uh, paint tool, uh, polygon. Um, uh, sorry, uh, artisan uh, sculpt tool, and holding down the B key, I can re uh, holding on the D the B as brush, I can like increase or reduce the, uh, and dial down, so I can <coughs> dial down or up the size of the brush, and holding down the N key, it will increase the the M key. Sorry, M. I can actually go and push the geometry but this is really rough right now so I have to let me go to the settings of the brush this is quite the displacement is very like large so I can do 0 0.1 0 
and holding down the shift key I can start um, using the smooth tool so I can dent these areas or I can push the geometry and then I can just with the shift key I can um, with the shift key it relaxes the vertices so it's kind of smoothing in so I made like a little area that is sort of dented and now you notice that this part let's get the brush and finish this is uh, sort of damaged and it's pixelated so if, it's, if you don't want it to be pixelated you can go to, to your normals and set uh, normal angle and apply so it makes it smoother <coughs> I can go back to my uh, to Photoshop here and look at this and I understand now that I can actually work on uh, adding more detail so up here here's the lip so I can go to my um, layer and get the burn tool and work on these uh, details up here or I can bring bring another image and make this um, basically I'm gonna use the another layer mask to soften out and transition this better So I can take this, save it, select the object, go to the texture, and uh, reload. Oh, that was from the other side, actually. 